In this video, we will go over some of the ways that you can embed content directly into your Google Slides. You can open up a previously made Google Slides or create a new one. We are going to use the Google Slideshow that we made in our previous basics, how to use Google Slides, where we inserted some uh, images and shapes already. Under insert, you can insert shapes like we've done already. There's lots of options for you. You can insert an image either directly from your computer or drive or from a Google search like we did to find this classroom picture. You can also insert a video directly into your slideshow, either from your drive or from YouTube. One of the ways is through a search, which can take a while and it can be hard to find the exact video that you want. So we recommend going to YouTube first and finding your video and then copying the URL from this address bar at the top and then pasting it in your Google slide insert video and by URL. And that will bring up the exact video that you would like to embed. And this will insert it directly into your slideshow so that you can play it while you are presenting directly in your presentation. So you don't have to leave and go to YouTube at all. It's very streamlined and it's all from within your presentation in your slideshow. So you don't have to leave it at all. Now, another way that you can embed some content in your Google Slides is almost like creating a hyperdoc where there are clickable links that will take people outside of your slideshow to other websites. And you can do this by making things clickable like images or text. So we're going to find some images in our drive that we would like to make clickable and take people to our websites. So the first picture that we're going to grab is the EdTech coach icon. And then I'm going to grab my personal icon. And these will take people to the EdTech website and my personal website when they are clicked. So I need to grab the links for those pages but I need to tell people what they are for. So I'm going to label them and I'm going to make the text clickable as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste that caption and then change the words so that the formatting is the same. Now right now, they're just the pictures and they're just the words and I need to insert my links so that they're clickable. So I'm going to click on my website first so that I can get the links to my pages. Copy those and go back to my slideshow. Click on my image. Click insert link. Paste the link I copied and now when I click on that it will take me to my website. I can also highlight the text and do the same. When I highlight text and make it a clickable link, it will change the color and format. It will make it underlined. I can go back through and take away that formatting and put it back the way that it was so that it's now clickable, but I can pick whatever formatting I want. So I'm going to grab the link for my website, copy and paste it, make that image clickable and do the exact same thing with the text so that the text is now clickable, just like the image. Fix that formatting so it matches. And I've turned this slide into a hyperdoc, which essentially is a clickable document that has more information than what is just listed. And this is what it would look like when it's presented. Here's kind of that first page with the inserted shapes and image. And now I've got my embedded video that plays directly within my slideshow. And then my next page, you can see how my mouse changes to the 
um, clickable kind of finger instead of the pointer mouse and it takes me to the websites that I made those links for directly from my slideshow. So if I were to share that with students or with colleagues, they would be able to use that as a hyperdoc, which is a document that would be clickable and have more information that I could share with them. So those are kind of two ways that you can share information, embed content in your Google Slides by embedding videos and clickable links with images and text. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel right here and check out the next video in our playlist.